Back here for the conclusion of the Scratch Division title match from Brunswick Kyrene Lanes. A historic day on the Scratch Division as Jacob Butcher sent the eight game record at plus 509. But he's in the endless 10th frame format today, so no lead is safe. And right now he trails in the match by 15 pins, spare working in the ninth frame. Acuff will be on a spare in his ninth frame. If you strike on the last ball of your 10th frame, whether it's strike, 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 or spare strike, you're allowed to continue striking until you catch up. Jacob hits that cyclone ball to just barely hold and get that six pin over. He's had some great carries of his six pins in this run that he's on this season. Now the all-time eight game record holder, as soon as he wins again, which could be a matter of minutes, he'll be the all-time single season title holder. Looking to tie Andrew Kane, of all people, in career titles. Just uh, can't say enough, but he's got a tough cookie here in Acuff, who's a 14-time champion in his own right. And wants to make a statement that there's another pretty darn good lefty on tour here. Early in the step ladder, Eric Hatchett beat Austin Thompson in round one, 234 to 186. Hatchett then beat. Uh, Danny Varholt in an absolute thriller that went four nerve, uh, nerve racker, four endless tenth rounds. Danny had to strike three times to catch up. He did. Then they went alternating shots for a couple frames until Hatchet finally prevailed. Then Acuff defeated Hatchet in the semifinals, setting up the situation where we're here right now with that 15 pin lead for Derek in the ninth. And for the third time in the last four frames, right of target, that one was also considerably slower. And leaves, in my opinion, the toughest non-split spare on the lane. Two, four, seven, eight for the lefties. So many ways to slide by this, so many ways to chop this. He's going to have to avoid doing any of those if he possibly can to not give up the lead in this match. Fine. No worries. He wanted to be on camera, that's all. We gotta find the right ball. <laughs> Quite alright. You're all good. Side boob. And <laughs> oh no, and he chops it. <coughs> well, time to regroup Drake up here in the 10th frame, and he's on the lane that he's been less successful on here. Excuse me, I've had a nasty cough all weekend. Well, really interesting situation here. They're tied on the scoreboard. Zone in on the scoreboard here. And so that's A cup here with that open working. Strike spare for 203. Meanwhile, a spare strike for 203 for Buttruff. Again, the match isn't necessarily over because if they strike on their fill ball. They get the chance to keep on going in our endless tenth format. It's a gimmicky thing, yep, agreed, but you know, it keeps it fresh for our regulars. Not something we do for a major title. But these guys bowl 30, 40, 50, even more than that tournaments a year, so. It, and it's a different mental challenge, too. It's, it's in the back of your mind all match long. And it certainly makes it come down to clutch, clutch time here in the latter frames. Oh no, and the worst possible situation. Eric Acuff is all but handed the match to Buttruff, and he is now handed a wallop to the vending machine. Here's the deal two out is 192. And it's well, really, if I'm Derek here, I would just get the two pins and just take your medicine, because two out is 192. If Jacob opens in any combination, he would finish at 191, because he's on the strike. So he needs to regroup and get two. He barely gets the two. That would have been a disastrous 7-1. So he finishes at 192. Obviously, no extra frames from here. That takes the tie possibility out of play. Endless 10th is inconsequential as well. It'll be over with this shot one way or the other. Any mark from Buttruff, he wins. Any open at all from Buttruff, 
Hiccup loses and Derek is beside himself back there. And I don't blame him. He came in up just a pinch high in the uh, eighth and the sixth frame on that left hand lane. Made a subtle adjustment and it just went zooming through the break point to 379. And a historic bowler looking to add history with this shot. He liked it off his hand, and it is 10 in the fifth. Wow. You, 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 you talk about all these matches, and you run out of superlatives to say for one bowler. It's just dominating. Who are the fried A cup? Did, did someone have the fried A cup platter? Was it a, did you want that baked or fried? You have to live with them. Um, it he's charred. Charred? Lightly grilled? Charbroiled? Yes. <laughs> Very good. That's a, that's a disappointing end. And, you know, it's, there, there's only a few dominant lefties on tour, and when they play each other, there's a, a lot of ego on the line, too. But nobody can stop this guy. 22 wins, 16 of them since September. And that's the record breaker. 16 wins since September. 212 without the endless frame is enough. Good freaking heavens. Hats off to the record breaker. He wraps it up with the win as well. Make it 22. We'll see how long this streak can continue. It's not the endless 10th, it's the endless title. Just keeps on winning. All right, we'll do it all over again in Texas and Washington next weekend. Very convenient geography by me on there. See you later.